Edward O'Brien's hometown remembered him as a good sportsman. Now he's an IRA martyr. His parents live in this house in Goray, County Wexford. They are heartbroken by his death, horrified by his terrorist connections. The O'Brien family unreservedly condemn all paramilitary organisations and wish to have nothing to do with such organisations. They do not want any paramilitary involvement in the funeral of their son. An early picture of O'Brien shows him at the age of 12 in his Gaelic football kit. He was born in 1974, the eldest of three children. He became an altar boy at the local Catholic church and a keen footballer. At 15, he left school and worked in a bakery and as a garage attendant. Then came time abroad, staying in Scotland and Germany before arriving in London and undertaking a fatal mission for the IRA. These evil, depraved uh, IRA godfathers can recruit impressionable young Irish people into, um, into appalling acts of violence and, and, and murder. The inquest into O'Brien's death in the Aldwych bus bombing opens tomorrow. While the police investigation goes on into that attack, security is being visibly tightened on both sides of the Irish Sea. Checkpoints in Dublin tonight, Britain and Ireland on a state of alert. Howell Jones.